<sighs> Damn, Q. Baby, you did that. What up, though? We back for episode two. All right, so we uh, we had a couple of uh, couple of versus battles basically in the first episode. Again, of course, you're checking in with. Uh, we still got our special, very special guest EBZ in the building. What up? Got my man Angry Principal off camera. What's up? My man Bo Hate. Uh, my man Bo Hate. Ain't that? Ain't that? You remember Bo Hate? Yeah, no, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't know why that just came up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's how old school shit, right? It is old school shit. That shit like 2002, bro. Man, uh, Bo Bo yeah. yeah, him and uh, uh Hank Gathers, yeah. like all the Marymount. Wow, Hank yeah, Gathers. yeah. Bo Campbell yeah. can shoot the blood out that bitch though, for sure. Man. And yeah. of course, man, this is your boy Q Lewis. Oh, oh, oh yeah, I will show y'all my man. Yeah, I will show y'all. <laughs> yeah, we back, man. So we doing a uh, we doing a verses. So if you uh, watched the last episode, we was talking about Peerless Distilling Double Oak. So now we're back with the Wolf of Reserve. We gonna check out the Double Oak on that, and we gonna see uh you know kind of which one we like the best. Um, if you didn't check out the first episode, make sure you do click the link in the bio right now. You can check out the uh, you know the first episode. But uh, three point five is all the way around. Three point seven five for uh, for Angry Principal. Um, so make sure you check that out. Um, get ready to pop the cork. All right, pause. Pause for the cork. All right. That's that a better pop. Am I gonna like this one more? So Peerless was uh, 107.9 proof. Rubbing my hands together. Say so this, this your shit. <laughs> That's my shit right there, boy. All right. So this was 90.4. So less proof. Shit, that shit which, is tasty. Which I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be surprised yeah. because I know that I know that Angry Principal is a proof hunter. Mm. So the fact that he like he may like this one more would, would surprise. Oh yeah, I'm 100 and above. So exactly. I want 100 is, and above. And this is what 90. What did I say? 90.4. Yeah. So it's not that high of a proof, but it is double oak. So it's been, uh, it's been distilled. Oh, oh, my my dream bottle drink, is the wolf for full proof. Okay. Full proof. Yeah. I have never seen it. I just know it's out there. Mm -hmm. I just have never seen it before. That's the wish bottle. Okay. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I'm, I'm smelling this one. Mm -hmm. And so this is something a little different. So I do feel like there's going to be a, a level of sweetness to it. You get apples but, again. You get spices, cinnamon. I get some char, you know, uh, some 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 vanilla. You know what? Mm. I'm getting honey. Get more char. Honey. I don't yes. get the apple. I don't get the apple yet. No, no apple in this one. Say honey. I get more of the char on this one. There is there's a little bit more char. It yeah. is it, it's, it's some kind of fruit sweetness, and it's not citrus. So it's, it's, it it smells apple. like apple to me. Yeah. You know, and, I, and I've heard that before. Some people are like, no, it's not that. But you're right. It's, it's not it's not quite citrus. It's not citrus. No. But it is a fruit sweetness. Though. Right. So it's a fruit sweetness rather than chocolate or or uh, or cinnamon or something like that. So, mm. all right, let's see what it tastes like. I, I got to see now. Ah, that sweet sweet nectar. It's definitely a lighter taste. Mm. It's a lighter taste. But you it's got a, the char immediately. That sweet sweet nectar, boy. I love this one. All right, so look, it's a, it's a lighter it's a lighter taste. All right, so obviously you know that I'm gonna be a fan mm. of that because I will say this though, I understand why y'all like it. And it is, it is definitely because of the char at the end. Mm -hmm. This is definitely like eating at the bottom of the barrel. <laughs> mm. I, uh, you know, like how at the bottom of the drink, whenever you make Kool-Aid or it was like if you eat cereal and yeah. all that like salty yeah. at the bottom and settle. Yeah, that's what that, you know, like that scrape that. Like I, I love that char taste in bourbon. Exactly. Like I love it. And, and that's exactly what I get from gotcha. this, man. Mm. Which is exactly why this is definitely not going to be my favorite between the two. <laughs> now, I will say this. Um, it has a it has a good taste. Uh, I, I guess we're not really doing comparisons yet, but I, it doesn't taste as good as the, the Peerless. I will say this, though. I am, uh, again, my, my palate is lighter. I do, I do like sweetness. This sweetness is a little more of a fruity sweet, though. Than like a, a caramel or a chocolate sweetness, so it's kind of I don't I don't really like that as much. So I'm gonna say for me, um, it's it, it, it don't work for me. I, I don't think it worked for me. Uh, Angry Prince, what you gotta say? Cause I know this is you this know is that, your favorite. You know that fruit cocktail 
<laughs> thing we used to have when we were little. Cocktail. Yeah. It kind of got a hint of it in there somewhere. <laughs> See what I'm saying? So, yeah, honey, it's so it's got that fruitiness yeah, and that, that honey in there. In it. Yeah. And then it charts. So those are the three things that are standing out to me. And, and that's what you love the most about it. I mean, I enjoy it. This yeah. is, uh, um, I think I'm, I've only had this a few times. You saw the, the, the only times I've had it is where we got that bottle. Gotcha. Which I, I have not sipped on it very often. Okay. Uh, I think I like um, just because the other Woodford is so readily available. Right. You can grab that proof. easily. But I, okay. I do enjoy this. This is yeah. nice. This is a nice taste. It's got a n- decent hug. Mm-hmm. It's uh, if I felt like spending fifty bucks every day, every few days, it would be an everyday sipper for me. Really? This could be an everyday one. As opposed to the regular Woodford. Oh, I mean the regular is already an everyday, but mm-hmm. I could I could easily switch mm-hmm. if I needed to and make this an everyday sipper. Okay, I can see that. I mean, and I then it pairs it, well with my cigar too. So that's what I'm trying to see now. The char comes even more out. Yeah. Ebz, what you think, man? I got a problem with it. <laughs> <laughs> you got you a know, problem. It's, no. it's advertised as heavily toasted, lightly charred, but I get more char in this than I did the previous right uh, liquor. Yeah. It's, so you say it's false advertising? <laughs> I don't know. Right? No, I'm not, I'm not. right. Maybe they should change it, or if, if a lot of people... Yeah, rebound pumps it, really make you jump, too, huh? If they get enough advertising no, for a lot of people to say the same exact thing I'm saying, maybe they should change it, but... Um, <laughs> <laughs> you just sound like a liar. I know, right? But Woodford, I, I would prefer regular Woodford over the double O. Yeah. I, okay. could, I could drink that, you know, the, the regular Woodford over this any day of the week and, and be satisfied but this is uh it's a little too strong um which is odd because it's a lower proof though that's so, weird and that's it's what weird. i'm saying it's weird it's because of the chart it's the chart you know, it's the chart and, and, and i don't know i'm i'm with you on the you know the fruity taste uh, I, I i don't prefer it <laughs> <laughs> but what you think, man? I know you another you a fan of this. Yeah, this is one of my favorites, man. Like uh, I love that char taste. Like I wouldn't be reminded that like I'm drinking bourbon and not Kool Aid, and that and that char taste lets me know like, right. yeah, this is That's bourbon, bro. Yeah, this is what it is, yeah, you know. Sure. And uh, it, I'm, I'm I'm right along the lines of Angry Principal. Like if. I really wanted to spend 50 bucks a week or a day or whatever it was. This would be an everyday yes, sipper for me, you know. Oh, gotcha. But just the fact that I'm kind of cheap, you know, it's not. <laughs> you know? It's, it's 34 as opposed to 50. Right, yeah, right. you know, yeah. For sure. So, I mean, like, yeah, this is still, like I said, this is one of my favorites, you know. So, uh, if, if I'm at a function or I'm celebrating or something like that, typically if you see me drinking, it's probably this that I'm drinking. Gotcha. You know? Okay, I dig that. Uh, on that note, I guess I'll round it off. Um, again, I, I think I already mentioned at the beginning, I'm not really a fan. I think the char does throw it off for me. I do like a little char at the end, but I think this one is a little bit overwhelming. Uh, with the uh, cigar, actually, for me, uh, makes it worse. I'm actually about to put this down so I can continue to drink. Um, it, do, it does, like like I said, there's a, there's a great taste to it at the beginning. I don't necessarily like the finish. All right, so I think the finish throws it off for me. Um, and even though uh, I kind of agree with what EBZ said, I think even though it's a, a lower proof, um, it does seem to be stronger, I guess. And I guess it is because of the, you know, the, the bite of the char. Uh, so on that, I think I'll start off uh, for the Black Power Fist, though. I think that on this one, I'm not going to go real low because it's not, it's not terrible. But I am going to give it a three, though. So I'm going to give it three Black Power Fist, dog, for the uh, Woodford Reserve uh, Double O. I definitely would take the, the regular uh, Woodford you know, in, in place of that, but I never had the full approved though, so I, I really can't speak on that. But the regular joint, I definitely would take that before this, and it ain't got nothing to do with the price. <laughs> it means, y'all mean what you give? I'll be get a little bit more fair. I'll give it a three point two. <laughs> three point two. What is that? <laughs> two fingers. <laughs> like, it is what it is, bro. Right. Three in the knuckle. <laughs> three in the knuckle. Right. All right, right. All right Angry President, what'd you say? Uh, I give it a three and a half. Mm-hmm. I, I I do enjoy this. This is this is a good sip. It's uh, it's not harsh. It has a decent hug, and like I said, if you had to compare prices between our two bottles up here, you know it's a lot more affordable. So right. it, it could fit more into the budget than that uh, than the Peerless will. The Peerless, okay. you know, it, it's it's not available. So that Double Oak is everywhere. Right. So I do like that. I got you. But what'd you say? So you know, like uh, so most people like milk chocolate, right? Mm-hmm. 
I like dark chocolate. You know what I mean? Some people don't like dark because it's too bitter. It's too bitter. Yeah, you know I mean. Mm. So this is kind of how I think about that, right? You know, like I said, I like that char. I, 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 I don't know why. It's weird, but I like it, yeah. right? So, again, one of my favorites, you know, outside of Blanton's or like uh, Rock Hill Farms or something like that, you know, this is definitely, you know, up there for me. So I, I'll give it a four. I give it four Black Power Fist, for sure. That's small. That's four. That's upstairs. Right. So then, though, man, you, you got our uh, you, you got our our votes on Woodford Reserve Double O. It looked like me and me and E Beasy on the same page. Looks like Bo and Angry Principal on, on on their page. We call it that their page. Uh, but again, this was the first time for both of these, and I think we'll at the end of this episode we'll go ahead and uh, give our nomination on which one we think is the uh, best. I want to say this real quick too, right? Mm-hmm. Because you got a lot of different, you know, palettes. Palettes, yeah. But you know, I'm on this end of the spectrum. So you know, I think EBZ on this end of the spectrum, mm-hmm. right? So I just want to reiterate: drink what you enjoy, what right. you like drink. Like every person right? always say, right? Drink what you like. Yeah, you sure. know, just because I like it or he likes it or we. I don't like it or he doesn't like it doesn't mean that you will like or dislike it, right? Yeah. Try it. Experiment a little bit, uh, you know, w- whatever you see up here. Yeah, and like, yeah you know, that's just, that's just what it is. And like you said, we all are on a different spectrum. So keep in mind that, like, uh, what exactly what I said I didn't like about it, like I told you what it was. So, like, if that's something you like, then you might like it. You know what I'm saying? So I said that I didn't like it because or you might have a totally different opinion about it. Yeah, yeah, just right. something, yeah. And like you said, you like it. Put that shit. Put trend. that shit in the comments, though. Let's oh, talk. Yeah, right? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Put that shit in the comments, though. We want to know what y'all are saying. Um, so right now, though, we go go around and uh, choose between the two. And I think this is pretty obvious. I think, but we'll start with uh, we'll start with Angry Principal first. If you had a decision, and we are gonna take price out of it though, the price and availability we are gonna take out of it. So if you had a choice between the two, which one would you choose to be? Uh, I won't say everyday sipper, but something more in your rotation. Angry Prince, we'll start with you. I gotta go with the Peerless. Yeah. Um, a lot more of a flavor profile mm-hmm. than the Woofer. The Woofer, the char is 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 the star of the drink. <laughs> the star. <laughs> and whereas the Peerless, you got a lot more flavors you can pull out. Gotcha. So I'm gonna go with the Peerless. The underdog. <laughs> the underdog. Right. The underdog. Easy. What you say? I'm the same. Peerless, Peerless seems to be something that, you know, I could, uh, excuse you me. know, sit around and, you know, get away from in the basement from the kids. Get away from the damn kids. <laughs> right. <laughs> FDK all day. Right. All right. <laughs> Behind the bar and, you know, yeah. just, just chill for a second. For sure. For sure. Bo, what you say? And, uh, so like like I said, you know, Whipper is is uh, the the double oak is uh, one of my favorites. So you know, I'm going with that. But I want to tell you all this too, though. Mm-hmm. If you go back and look at last week's episode, I said that flavor profile peerless. I give it a four. I gave Wilford a four. I mean, they they about neck and neck with me. You know what I mean? Two yeah. totally different flavor profiles, but yeah. both are enjoyable, right? At least for me. So yeah. um, I would. Go with the the Wilford just because I'm familiar with that. You know what I mean. But uh, the Peerless that that would that would be a nice substitute from time to time. Well, for sure. I want to let you know, Wilford said your game was trash today. Who? Huh? What? <laughs> I don't know what to say. <laughs> what? I don't know. <laughs> so obviously we know where I'm going with this. Uh, with my pure disdain for the Wilford Reserve <laughs> Double O, uh, that we do know that I'm going with Peerless on this one, and it is. Absolutely solely because of the uh, taste profile. I think that uh, Again, it's the it's, it's kind of that The the chocolate or cocoa sweetness over like fruity sweetness for me You know what I'm saying and then of course the char also like threw it off of me. I got that light palette I don't want all that char <laughs> I wanted to taste sweet going down a little bit of a bite and then get gone You know what I'm saying this one lingers a lot and I couldn't even smoke my cigar with it. So y'all don't mind them. They t-shirt snap between the legs. Wow! <laughs> <laughs> on that note, he came back. <laughs> yeah, he came back on that one. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> so on that one, man, it was, uh, it's three to one on uh, <laughs> three to one on Peerless. But again, like uh, Angry Prince will always say, man, drink what you like. So you make sure you do your own research. But we just trying to put y'all hip to some game on like some things that you can get hip to other than cognac and smash grapes and <laughs> and uh, you know. In France. So anyway, we're moving on to our next week. I want to thank everybody for checking us out. Make sure that you haven't 
done so already make sure that you do like share and subscribe any comments you want to leave make sure you leave them underneath the uh, video right now and of course we will actually respond all right um that's it till next time we will keep doing some drinking and i'll let y'all do what y'all want to do uh my man eb's in the building yo <laughs> angry principal off camera as usual drink what you like how you like my man bo holding it down i say and of course man it's your boy q lewis holding it down live from the 48205 man peace out y'all